China is cracking down. It's now limiting kids under age 14 so that they can only use TikTok for 40 minutes a day. And kids won't be able to access the app between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Well, it's not actually TikTok, it's called Douyin, but it's the equivalent of TikTok and owned by the same company called ByteDance. China is also restricting the amount of time people can spend on video games. So if you're under the age of 18, you can only play video games now for three hours per week. And you're literally only allowed to play at specific times, which are 8 to 9 p.m. on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The government says that this is all to help prevent young people from developing gaming addictions. But hold up. These restrictions aren't just about gaming and social media. China also said recently that it's banning private tutors too. This is because the education system is so competitive in China that parents are spending a ton of money just to make sure their kids are getting extra education and tutoring. And China is saying that it's become too competitive and parents are feeling too much pressure to overspend money on their children just to get tutored. But it's getting so crazy that some people are even getting a Around these rules. They're hiring a live-in tutor for their kid and paying nearly $5,000 per month. Imagine if we had this problem in the US. Too much tutoring time and too much money being spent on tutors. Okay, but back to the gaming rules and addictions. Even though China has strict internet rules and essentially its very own version of the internet, many people are admitting that it might actually be pretty hard to enforce a lot of these rules since people are self-reporting their age when they use these apps and games. Games. Chinese media has been warning that young people are spending too much time on the internet and, well, that's having an impact on both their physical and mental health. The Cyberspace Administration of China is now urging companies to, quote, create a good cyberspace environment for the healthy development of young people. Now, a few years ago, Facebook and Instagram launched ways to try and limit our addictions to its apps. But of course, those were from private companies, not governments. Some people have compared social media addictions to drug addictions. So maybe it makes sense why the Chinese government feels the need to intervene here. But let me know in the comments, should governments have any control or say over the amount of time that kids spend on gaming and social media? and for that matter, how much their parents spend on tutoring too. While you're at it, check out more of my videos, subscribe to my channel, and find me on Instagram and TikTok at Upton.